Bibi Sara, you are on two and half out of three. Today you were playing uh, against Gunai, Mamad Zada. Uh, and it was a semi slough But the last position was a completely like your knight was on F7, pawn on G7, rook on 7th rank. <laughs> How did this happen? Uh, we played Simislav and D C5, C4, C6, D4, D5, knight C3, knight F6, E3, E6, knight F3, knight BD7, bishop D3. And here I am waiting for D takes C4. But she played B6, I think she wants to go out of the theory. So after that I played E4 uh, and have a little bit advantage after opening. Uh, and I think she, after knight C3, she played bad move, not bad, uh, not very good move, uh, castle, because I have bishop F4 and uh, for her queen not have space. Uh, in the home I prepared queen c7, rook e1, uh, castle, bishop g5, okay, it's uh, normal position for Simislav, but after bishop f4 maybe she should play c5, d5, exchange, bishop take h7 and queen d5, I don't know what is the position, I think white have initiative but maybe not too much, and she played... Uh, not fast and rook e8, knight f8, knight g6. So I have a big initiative because I have my knight on e4, e5, uh, and then I played h4, h5, h6, h take g7, and in the end I think last mistakes her was b4. But I don't know uh, what's the best move because during the game I don't see. Uh, but after b4 it's easy for me to win, knight a4, queen a5, b3, and after bishop uh, a7 I saw that I can play rook d7, knight d7, rook d7, then after bishop c8, queen f3, and it's checkmate for black. That's some uh, fine calculation and I think uh, you completely crushed her uh, in this game. Um, you are known for your speed chess, in general you have been two times world blitz champion. Uh. Uh, is it like you are also now focusing on classical chess? I tried, but uh, last year I played a lot of uh, rapid and blitz tournament, I think uh, six or seven. Uh, so maybe next year I will play more classical tournaments instead of uh, rapid and blitz because I'm tired a little bit. Uh, it's my sixth tournament in a row. Sixth tournament in a row? Uh, yes, I played oh, yeah. World Team Chess Championship and we go, we reach the final. After I go to the Armageddon Blitz and then we go to the Asian Games where I play individual and team tournament. Uh, then you and I played on the first board, it was more pressure after ah. I played in Qatar Masters and then I come here, so <laughs> I hope that uh, after this tournament I can have a rest. Th that's like two months there. Yes, two months I don't see my family <laughs> and I travel alone, so it's uh, difficult a little bit, but okay. It's my first time in London and I really in England and in London and I really like the country and cities so I'm happy I think. <laughs> but, but when you make such a huge trip, uh, how do you manage your stamina, your uh, fitness, your food? Because different it's places really have different food. It's really hard because uh, last time I have a lot of stress and I'm not sure that my mental is the mental uh, not very stable sometimes but I try to fix it. Okay, uh, like this. And with such a uh, good start, do, does this thought cross your mind that maybe top two finish and I make it to the candidates? I try to not think about this because uh, it's tournament, it's very long. I played two years ago in Riga and if I won last round, uh, I will take a second place. But I lost in 20 moves, so, and I just finished 10, so... I think it's a strong tournament and I should just try to play good games and see what happens. Finally, I want to ask you, one of your biggest uh, qualities is your mental strength. Uh, how, how do you train that? I don't train it at all, but I think after this tournament and this trip, I will do it. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, all, congratulations for your Thank win you. today and all the best. Thank you.